How are you? Good. This is uh, Rosa Clemente. Hello, I know Rosa. Kat. So, I know. We met forever no, ago. No, no. I just know who you I are. Thought maybe <laughs> through, I thought it was through the How MTV. Are How are you? Scott doing well. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you as well. How did this come about? Well, Rosa is a Puerto Rican activist journalist, and she's up to date on what's been happening in Puerto Rico, and we decided to come together. She's from the Bronx. And so I'm giving, um, very happy to, and excited to be able to have her educate us as to what's going on there. Tell me you, how did you get the call and you're going to be walking with the great Susan Sarandon? Like, did she call you at home? How did this go down? No, actually, Tarana Burke, the founder of Me Too, is a friend of mine for over 20 years. I'm an organizer. I've been doing work for a long time. I know Susan. We're, we're Green Party folks. You know, she supported me when I ran a long time ago. So the call was like, are you coming? I said, yeah, because you're my date and you're amazing, you know. <laughs> um, but really, uh, my project, Puerto Rico on the map, we just want to let people know that to this day, half of the people on the island are still without power, 90%. JLo's there right now, right? I don't know that. Oh yeah. But and 90 percent of um, ha don't have access to clean water, and you know, as a mother, you I think your mom, yeah. you might appreciate the fact that, you know, women have stopped lactating because they don't have proper nutrition. This is 3.5 million American citizens that this government has neglected, and this is almost 110 days after Hurricane oh, Maria yeah. has hit. Yeah. Is it, do you don't you feel like this? I mean, you talk about a platform. You talk about an opportunity to really take the attention and and say something. Was this the perfect, I mean, did you feel like this was like a perfect place to be able to, to share how you organize, the stories that are important to you, the things that are important yeah. to you? Well, of course, I mean, I think there's a belief that many people in the entertainment industry are not up on politics or don't care about things outside of this. And um, Susan and Meryl Streep are, you know, icons I, as advocates, as organizers, as people who encourage us to protest when things are wrong. And then we as organizers will use any platform to speak for hundreds of thousands of people. Like right now, I feel I'm speaking for the people of Puerto Rico that cannot turn on a TV. Right. Well, that's what time's up for me is all about is helping those that can't help themselves how well, but I've got to say yes to, to that but also we've got very powerful women that are bringing their power you know to us to help other people um, so it's not just us kind of we have access to access uh, nice. but um, you know the important thing is that it goes across all industries your industry you know we have people representing a lot of different industries women and so it's been very exciting to, to hear become up to date on what they're doing that is so important. And in fact, it was the women, the farm workers, who first sent the letter to the Hollywood community saying, we stand with you because we know what that's like. And it's about everything. It's about, uh, you know, not just violence, but all rights that we have that we share, and that men are standing with us and, uh, you know, yeah. I mean, our sisterhood, our sisterhood is strong. It's always been strong. Now we need men to be allies and accomplices in smashing sexual violence. It can't just be because you have a daughter or, or mother. It has to be because we are human beings that deserve the right to dignity, whether we're working on a Hollywood set or we're working at Kentucky Fried Chicken, whether we're a mother in the South Bronx or whether we're a mother in Beverly Hills. That is Susan, absolutely true. will all the speeches tonight be pointed? Well, that's a good question because no, it's not an, um, it's not just a, a message. It's a action, and we have the Legal Defense Fund, which is going to be very, very important for women who are having some kind of difficulty and need a lawyer and don't have the means. So that's been just growing daily. I think and the goal was to get to sixteen thousand. Let's, let's see where, we where, where right we. Now. The, the, the goal is sixteen talent. million, right? Yeah. We've, We've got the tally going. Listen, well, I need to do over 17 million tonight. I'm feeling like we're going to bust that yeah. ceiling. Well, if what it's done the wrong, we're at 15,856. All right. Here we go. Let's and we going. need that because many women don't have money. We live in a society that is. Um, economically unfair to most people and what do you do if you are working two jobs and you're sexually harassed all day do you quit your job or do you feed your child do you quit your job or you pay your rent so we need to be supporting women who are the most marginalized but center them because they are the most powerful she is a leader I'd follow this right? one anywhere right we, we were talking about strength but I do uh, I want to talk about your category because it is also like packed I mean it is the powerhouses of I forgot all about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's how cool Susan Sarandon is. Right?
I, I thought that was like last season. <laughs> Wasn't that a while ago? I don't know. Oh, we are I'm, I'm really, I mean, it's just been so much fun to see so many women. We were in a group yesterday that was talking for four hours, you know, and getting to know each other and getting to know people from other cultures and whatever. And it's been very emotional and really, really fun. So for me, I got to say that the category is kind of uh, secondary, although it's going to be fun because Gina and I are reunited to present. Yes. So that'll be fun. It's kind Except of. Except this time they're not driving over the cliff. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. This time we're surviving. Don't do it. Thelma <laughs> <laughs> and Louise, I want the arms up. That's right. Times have changed somewhat.